I was a part of a medical mission trip to uh, Northern Vietnam, and one of our surgeons made a mistake. You know, even surgeons are humans. They finished the surgery, everything went great, but when they pulled him off the anesthesia, his airway closed. And so they scrambled for hours. And I found out later that the boy had not been breathing on his own for eight hours. And so we were called to the hospital and I scrubbed in actually and went into the OR. There was pandemonium. It was tense and there was arguing and finger pointing and uh, actual cussing. There was profanity in this. I mean, I didn't know this at the time, but the doctors were worried they were gonna go to jail. So we were in communist Vietnam. We are a Christian organization. The communists are watch everything that you do. So we have police officers watching us, special agents watching us. And so I walked into this OR and the little guy, and, and, and the little guy was dead. I, you know, I, I just realized, I just remember my heart sinking and, and I felt so just worthless. God, I can't, what am I gonna do here? And, and to be honest, I felt enormous pressure. And the one doctor from Texas screamed, he's dead, just call it, just call it. And Dr. Vian Doan, this little tiny Vietnamese uh, doctor, he was head of surgery, he just said, not until we pray. I'm not calling it until we pray. And I, I just looked, okay, Lord. So um, I prayed over this little guy. I just remember, and I wouldn't want your listeners to hear this, I was so afraid to say amen because I was certain God was gonna say no. I had, I had such little faith. And, and, and that, what does Jesus say? If you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. And I would tell you, I didn't even have the faith of a mustard seed. So that's, that's how little faith God needs. But I prayed and I jumped back and his little eyes open and he just looks at me. And I jumped back, they scooped him up their arms and the doctor uh, who performed the surgery, Dr. Harvesty, not a believer, not in church, he had tears running down his eyes because he made a mistake. He didn't know it at the time but he killed this kid and he was in the corner and he's weeping and he looks at me. So he was raised in church and he says, it's just like the stories in the Bible. It's just like the miracles my mom told me about. And he's weeping. And, um, and so you, see, you ask why this is a communist town. There's no God, you know, religion has been completely taken away from these people. Today, Julie, there's a church there. There's revival breaking out. God is moving. And, and it's because this story happened in a place where people can't deny it. You know, 